Okay, so I think our journey is a little bit different than some of the other parents um, that have um, tuned into the Scalar Learning Channel because our son is younger. So he's 13 now, and um, we came upon testing for the SAT at such a young age, um, basically by chance. So Sam is the oldest of three kids, and so basically they're sitting around at home with idle time and we were trying to find other um, programs that they could do to supplement uh, supplement their school. You know, I see some of the kids on this channel that are amazing. Um, and he is, if you gave him the option to sit at the kitchen table and do math worksheets all day or go play with his friends, he'd get home at night and that uh, worksheet would still be sitting empty on the table. So, you know, that's, um, he enjoys math, but um, he's got better things to do too. So um, he decided he wanted to attain this special designation. And with that, you had to score 700 on either the math or the English um, by the time you turned 13. We figured out that, you know, math would be the easiest way for him to accomplish that. So when he was, let's say, I think 11 going on 12, we put him in a summer course. It was an intensive three week course for the SAT, um, which he loved. No, we didn't. Um, but, uh, you know, so that was eye opening. You know, he learned how to sit in a room for three hours. Um, and that was uh, basically about it. It was so over his head because at that time he had only taken pre algebra. So, and then fast forward, we um, then contacted um, uh, one of the national online tutors. So he was doing. Um, tutoring it was two to three times a week for two hours a day it was one-on-one -on -one tutoring via zoom and you know i think that helped but it um it wasn't really engaging um and he, he was learning some content um so, so of course it helped him in his regular math but it it wasn't um it wasn't like sat specific so when he went and sat for the sat the first time um, his score was a 580 on the math. And so at this point, his goal was a 700. And so, you know, rather than giving up, because <laughs> like I totally thought he was going to um, try to give up, then he was like, no, what are we going to do? So he took it upon himself. He went online and he found um, Scalar Learning on YouTube. And I w was walking through the living room one day and he was just on it watching it. And I was like, who are you? And what have you done with my child? Right. And so um, he really related to who Zephyr's teaching style, how fast it was, you know, how fun it was. And it was more like a game. It was more like a challenge. He did that for a few months. Um, and I actually got involved with him because he would get wore out. It was over the summer and he wanted to do other things. And so we turned it into a game. So we would race, he and I, and he would always beat me and I would, you know, I felt very bad, but that's okay. One game we would do is we would watch who Zeppa um, do his live um, test taking. And so it was, Sam had not yet taken the test, that test. So we would play the, we would, <laughs> we would play the question and pause it. And then we would race to see who could find the answer first. And then we were betting Monopoly money. So that was really fun um, and engaging. So, uh, you know, it was kind of like our joint journey. So at that point, um, he sat for the SAT a second time and he scored a 620. And so he was like, okay, mom, what can we do? You know? And so he was always making these, um, the same mistakes. And, you know, whenever I would grade it, I would put bonehead because it was just silly, silly, silly mistakes. And I would try to correct them. His math teacher would try to correct them and, um, none of that worked. And so we actually ended up contacting Huzefa for some one-on-one -on -one, uh, tutoring. And it was phenomenal because I guess now that he was, you know, actually communicating directly with this famous YouTuber, oh, now, now it made sense. And so, um, you know, he had those one-on-one -on -one tutoring and um, Huzefa corrected a lot of those things and gave him the self-confidence. So he finally, um, he went for his third time, which would have been his final time to attain the designation at a certain age. You, um, you age out, so you're no longer um, able to uh, test for. And so it was his last 
time to test and he scored a 770 and it was amazing. And what's even more amazing is we immediately called Huzefa. He answered our call on the first ring, you know, and he was so excited for him and he was, you know, checking up on him. He still checks up on him. So, you know, it's an amazing experience. And by doing this at a, such an early age, you know, I, I feel like a lot of parents of, you know, our kids' peers, they, they're like, what are you doing? Why are you doing all this work? And it, it just has helped him so much um, because not only for this designation, but that high SAT score um, allowed him to um, qualify for an advanced class in a summer camp at Northwestern. So he got a college credit there. He's got, um, you know, there's all sorts of big money scholarships available um, when you have these test scores and it opens up so many doors that like we personally had no idea about. Um, and so it's phenomenal and it gave him, you know, such a self-confidence boost. As Sam's scores went from a 580 to a 620 to a 770, you know, over the course of, let's call it three, three and a half months. And that's um, as a result of the training and the, you know, he had the confidence. So part of his problem was when he went um, and sat for the SAT the first time, you've got this little 13 year old, this little skinny guy, uh, going into this intimidating environment with juniors that are all bulky. And, you know, I remember he walked out of one and he was like, that was terrible. I was like, felt so little. And so um, the confidence that he gained during his um, training with Huzefa um, made him way more self-confident. So when he sat down to take the test, you know, I think he was far more comfortable and he wasn't, you know, into his own head. And I think that that really helped. Oh, also, um, by doing it at this earlier age, then now he's prepared. So it's before everything counts and he's he's not going to be struggling with AP tests as well as preparing for the SAT whenever he gets older. So now, boom, we've already checked that box. And, you know, I think one of the most impressive things for his um, resume in the future is he's very, very well prepared to become a National Merit Scholar. So you know, when it's time to go take that PSAT, that'll be a walk in the park, hopefully, fingers crossed. So even if your child is, you know, 10th grade, 11th grade, or if they're younger, you know, this channel um, is definitely, I would say, the best thing that could ever happen. You know, we tried other channels, we tried other online tutors, and he would he would just shut down and he would not engage. And so just who Zephyr's teaching style and his support um, is phenomenal. One of the big benefits that is translated from his, uh, his let's call it training with who Zephyr, um, is that the test taking skills that he learned. So, you know, although in eighth grade, you don't need a stellar S SAT score, but, um, you know, he's learned how to, um, by process of elimination and all of Huzefa's tri tricks, um, it's helped him, it's translated into his grades at school and it's made everything much easier. So, and that's something that he'll carry on through college. Josefa, if there's anything that I could say is our family as a whole and Sam, of course, specifically, owe you so much for this opportunity because if it weren't for you, he would have quit um, and we wouldn't be in the amazing position that we are today. So thank you, thank you, thank you.